Hi friends, in today's video, I'm going to make a reprogrammable timer without using any microcontroller. This timer circuit can be used for many applications. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. These are all the components we are gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect CD4060IC and connect its pin number 8 to ground and its pin number 16 to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to ground and its center pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin 12 of the IC and its other pin to remaining pin of 3 pin terminal block. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1 microfarad capacitor and connect its negative pin to pin 9 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 47K resistor and connect its one pin to pin 10 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K trim pot and connect its one side pin and center pin to positive pin of one microfarad capacitor and connect its other side pin to remaining pin of 47k resistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470k resistor and connect its one pin to pin 11 of the IC and its other pin to positive pin of one microfarad capacitor. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to pin 12 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to pin 12 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to pin 12 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10 pin mail header and connect its pin number one to pin seven of the IC its pin number 2 to pin 5 of the IC, its pin number 3 to pin 4 of the IC, its pin number 4 to pin 6 of the IC, its pin number 5 to pin 14 of the IC, its pin number 6 to pin 13 of the IC, its pin number 7 to pin 15 of the IC, its pin number 8 to pin 1 of the IC, its pin number 9 to pin 2 of the IC, and its pin number 10 to pin 3 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect another 10 pin mail header and connect its all pin together. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to second 10 pin mail header and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 12 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to pin one of the transistor and its other coil pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number one of the transistor and its cathode to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a three pin terminal block 
and connect its one side pin to normally closed terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally open terminal of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin male header and connect its one side pin and center pin to second 10 pin male header. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive pin of 1 microfarad capacitor and its anode to remaining pin of 3 pin male header. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the second LED and its other pin to pin 7 of the IC. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's test the project. Thank you. 